Hey Art Prince, today we are going to draw a carrot patch. Yeah, a folding surprise. When it's folded up, it'll just have the carrots, but then when you open it, there'll be a hidden bunny in a tunnel. We hope you're gonna follow along. You ready to start? Yes. Before we draw with our markers, let's fold our paper. We're gonna take the top edge and line it up with the bottom edge and crease it down the middle and then out to the corners. Then we'll take the top flap and line it up with the top edge and then crease that down. Next, let's flip over our paper and repeat that step. We'll take the top flap, line it up, and crease it down. This is just a guide fold, so let's unfold it and flatten it out, and then flip our paper back over. When we're all done, it should open up like this. Then we'll place scratch paper underneath our drawing paper just to protect our table because we're drawing with markers. Let's first draw the top or the ground. We're gonna draw above this middle fold. I'm gonna start over here, we're gonna draw a bumpy line going over to the other side. Then let's draw the carrots. We'll draw the first one right in the middle. I'm gonna draw an upside down U shape. Then we're gonna draw the leafy part sticking out. I'm gonna draw a curve that comes up and then curve around and then back in. It looks like an upside down raindrop. Then let's draw another leaf going the other way. And I'm only drawing part of it since it's overlapping behind the other one. We could also add smaller ones right next to this one on each side. Now that looks really cute. We're gonna repeat those same steps and add two more carrots, one on each side. I'm gonna draw it right here. And you could draw these smaller or bigger. You could also draw them further in the ground so it's not sticking up as far. And then we're gonna draw the leafy part and just repeat that same upside down raindrop shape coming out of the top of our carrot. And they don't have to look the same. You could, you could change the leaves too. And I'm gonna draw the same. Oh, I like how, how wide those leaves are. Those are really cute. And we're gonna draw more on this one, well, on this one I'm gonna change it and just add three leaves. Cool, okay, now let's also add one more thing. We could draw a little, oh, we could add two more things. Let's draw an S line right here. We're gonna draw a worm. This is underneath the ground. And then let's draw another S curve that matches right next to it. And then we're gonna draw a curve that connects the top to the bottom on the front and the back. And then also, we gotta add a funny face. So I'm gonna draw two little lines and a smile. <laughs> we could draw little rocks too. That was the other thing we could add. Now you could draw more worms. You could draw other things underneath the ground, maybe roots. You could draw lots of roots. Oh, you could draw other carrots also. You don't have to just draw three. Okay, I think we've got enough rocks. I'm gonna add one more over here. Okay, now we're ready to open up our paper and let's flatten out the fold so it's easier to draw on. Now we're ready to draw the surprise inside of the fold. So we wanna make sure that we're drawing everything below the top fold and above this bottom guide fold. So first let's draw the rabbits or the bunnies tunnel. We're gonna draw a wiggly line, I'm gonna take up a lot of the room and I'm gonna get really close to the fold up here at the top. We wanna make sure that we don't go over the fold. That way when it's all folded up together, it'll be hidden and a surprise. Now we're gonna go all the way around with this kind of S-curve wiggly line until we connect together. Nice. Oh, let's also add little rocks. We could add, see these little rocks down here? We could add them up here also. Oh, and I'm gonna add another worm over here. You could add more worms. <laughs> this one's really skinny. I'm not gonna have room for the funny face. I'll fit it. Two eyes and... <laughs> kind of got the smile in there. <laughs> Now let's add the carrots, or the bottom of the carrots. We're gonna imagine this line going through the ground and then popping out underneath or inside of the tunnel like this. So we want these outside lines to line up 
with the top part. I'm going to connect this one too. Maybe this one comes down a little further since it's in the ground further too. In this middle one, let's add two lines on each side that line up with the top, but we're not going to connect them. And this one has a bite taken out of it from our bunny. We're going to draw three little upside down U's connect connected together. Next, let's draw our bunny. And we're going to keep it really simple by just drawing an oval shape or a circle. <laughs> and I'm only drawing part of it since our bunny is sitting on the ground. And then let's draw the ears. I'm going to start here. We're going to come up and then we're going to curve down like this and then back around. Almost like we're going to connect, but we'll leave a little space right here. Then we're going to add two lines. One right here coming down to match the outside and then one more to complete the inside of the ear. Now let's draw the same steps for the other ear on the other side. So we'll draw it coming this way and curve around and then leave a little space. And then we'll draw one line and another line to complete the inside. <laughs> now we need to draw our bunny's face. I'm going to draw an oval for the nose. Then we're going to draw a U shape and another U shape. Looks like a W for the mouth. And then we could draw the eyes. I'm going to draw a circle on the left and the same size circle on the right. And then let's draw a smaller circle on the top left for that highlight to make the eyes look shiny. And then we'll color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. That part we sped up. So remember, if you need extra time, you can always pause the video. Okay, now let's add Easter eggs. I'm going to draw one right here and I'm drawing it behind the bunny. So I'm only drawing part of it. Oh, maybe I can see the other part sticking out down here. We can draw another egg over here on the right side. I'm going to imagine that going behind the bunny and then coming down here too. Oh, we need a bunny tail too. I'm going to draw a little bumpy popcorn line for the tail. Let's add a few more rocks in the background. You could also add more worms. You could even add more eggs or roots. You could add a lot of roots. That would be cool too, to make it look more like it's underground. And we did it. We finished drawing our carrot fully in surprise, except we're not completely done. Nope, we still need to color it. Yes, this part will speed up. So remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings. You ready to fast forward? Yes. We finished drawing and coloring our carrot patch and it turned out awesome. But let's show our friends inside on the count of three. One, two, three. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter. Oh, yours is the cutest and also my favorite. Now you can pause the video to match our same coloring. Or you can color it any way you want. Yeah, and we use markers to color with, but you could use something different like crayons or even colored pencils. And also don't forget you can add extra things to the surprise part. You could even decorate your eggs differently. Oh yeah, or you could also even add more eggs or even more bunnies. We hope you had fun drawing your carrot patch folding surprise. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you take extra time to color and add more things to your drawing. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.